Hey everybody, Rudy here from Take A Bath Productions with another video helping you fix various things. In this video, we're going to be working on the carburetor on this 24 horsepower Briggs & Stratton engine. I'm going to show you how to take it off of the engine block, take it apart, clean it, and put it all back together. So without further ado, let's dive right in. All right, so this thing's been sitting all winter. It doesn't want to start. I suspect there's just some trash in the carburetor from sitting for so long. So we're going to start by pulling this uh, this top shroud off of here. Two bolts under the air filter, quarter inch. These bolts around the outside of this thing don't have to be removed. You can just back them out because they slip out of there. And there's two more in the back. I'm not going to show them, but I'm just doing the same thing to them. These bolts around this outside perimeter are 10 millimeter, and you got to take this fuel pump off too. And these are 516s. And then you got to pull this top off of here where the uh, flywheel is at. There we go. The fuel line off of there. All right, next we're going to remove these uh, four carburetor bolts. They're three eighths. can't get to some of them just use a wrench and you're going to want to pull these two hoses off the back here the breather and this vacuum line be careful you can break this stuff it's plastic so just go slow and be patient. All right. This linkage can be a little bit tricky. That one just pops out of there like so, and then that frees the carburetor up to move for the other side. And there we go. Carburetor's off. All right, so keep in mind here, I'm not actually trying to rebuild this carburetor. Um, you can use the exact same procedure that I'm doing here, except just replace the gaskets. But all I'm going to do is take it apart and clean it and put it back together because that's all I think it needs. If you want to rebuild yours, you can, but I don't think this one needs it. Okay, so start by taking these guys off here, these uh, plastic manifold parts. Now this gasket here looks like somebody's already been in here and uh, done messed up this gasket. So, good thing I have a new one. Um, probably somebody already tried to take it apart. I bought this thing used at a yard sale. 
Somebody probably already tried to take it apart and they got they ruined the gasket. Probably because when you take these bolts out, they'll pop up and they'll ruin the gasket. So I'm sure that's what happened. Um, no big deal. Just destroy it. I don't care. If yours comes off in one piece, that's great. But uh, clearly that one needs a new one. Now to get this other side off, you have these little star patterns right here on the end of these bolts that, um, that loosen these nuts right here. Um, there's a Torx tool that you can get that will undo those, but if you have a four millimeter socket, it fits right on there and it works perfect. Okay, and there we have it. Now these linkages you have to be careful with them, for one thing, not to mix them up. And also, if you notice this, this Z thing goes to the inside like that. Not like this, goes like that. Right there. Um, the other one, I think it'll come off fairly easy, but I don't really need to take it off of there to do what I need to do, so I'm just going to leave it right there. But this one here, I'm going to take off so we don't lose it. There we go. So I'm going to take off the fuel solenoid. Um, this one here has plenty of room for a normal size half inch wrench, but a lot of times there's not much space in here, and you can either take a wrench like this and put it on a grinder and make it real thin so it'll fit in there, or you can go to your local bike shop and get a, a tool made for bicycles. Those are really thin. And just get one that's half inch and that should, uh, that should do the trick. But this one doesn't need anything. Let's see. That one's working. These things will rust up and they'll freeze and they won't move. And when that happens, they're usually junk. And we'll take the bowl off of here. And there's going to be gas coming out of this when you're uh, taking it apart. It's just part of the job. That's why I have gloves on. Just kind of slowly work that off of there. There we go. And it actually doesn't look that bad. Well, we're going to go ahead and clean it up anyway because uh, it wasn't running. So we'll just get the float out of the way. Now if I had a rebuild kit, I would replace this O-ring here and this O-ring here. It undoubtedly comes with that. Alright, there's a gasket right here that I would replace. Right here, this um, it's got four holes in it. I'm not going to disturb that because I don't think it needs a gasket right there. Alright, let's finish taking this puppy apart. Here's another gasket that you would replace if you were rebuilding it. All these uh, gaskets will come with your rebuild kit. This one too, I'm not going to disturb this one because it's on there and it would be part of your rebuild kit if you had one. Uh, so the only thing left is you got to take this butterfly out of here to get this out.
So just carefully pull that out. And there's a spring on here that you have to be careful with. Just pull it out slowly like this. See, it's got to stop right there. Pull it out a little bit and then it'll unwind. That way you don't have to wreck the spring trying to get that out. There we go. Doesn't really look too bad. And also here's another gasket in here that would be changed if I had the rebuild kit, but I'm not gonna rebuild it. Okay, so the only thing I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna take this uh, carburetor body here and I'm gonna take some carburetor cleaner and blow through any little hole that you see and then I'm gonna go back behind it with air and blow through any of the holes with air after I go through with the carburetor cleaner. And of course, I'm gonna clean up this surface right here uh, where this old gasket was at. So I'm not gonna show that part because it's just self-explanatory. The carburetor cleaner usually has a little straw on it and you can stick that straw in any of these little holes and uh, clean it up. All right, got all my parts cleaned up reasonably well. Um, one thing you should do before you put it back together is um, I have this little torch set right here. It's great for poking through little tiny holes. Um, these two emulsion tubes sticking down have got some holes in there. And I already sprayed cleaner through them, but just to make sure, it's a good idea to run something through every one of these holes just to make sure they're all clear. And then when you do that, go back with air and uh, blow, blow them out again. All right, after you do that, if you have a bunch of corrosion on yours because it's been sitting in, the gas has ate it up, uh, don't be afraid to take a little bit of steel wool and kind of clean them off a little bit too because uh, that corrosion might break down with the fresh gasoline and uh, wind up getting in the carburetor. One other thing, this um, jet right here at the bottom of this, it goes here. Do the same thing here. Make sure these are clear before you put that back. Otherwise it uh, might show up when you go to start it. So that's about it on the uh, cleaning um, like I said, I left this gasket in place, but if you're rebuilding yours, you're going to want to scrape that off and replace it. And this one here, I got cleaned up pretty good, and I have a new gasket. I cleaned all these little holes down here. And um, right here, make sure that these are clear. In here, there's two little, there's little holes in each barrel right here. Make sure those little pinholes are clear down through there. All right. Make sure you uh, clean up your needle right there in case it's full of corrosion. And if it leaks, if that rubber leaks, then you're going to need to get a, a new one. Uh, like if you wind up seeing gas in your oil, for example, it's probably because that's leaking right there. Um, I don't think this one has that problem, so I'm not replacing it. But if you have a rebuild kit, it'll probably come with the rebuild kit. It definitely will. All right, when you put this bowl back, make sure that the, uh, the hole for the fuel solenoid is facing where it was before, otherwise the wire coming from the lawnmower is not gonna reach. And also, you're gonna have a hard time getting that, uh, it might not fit. If it's turned the other way, it might just be hitting something.
All right, guys, that's it. I'm just going to tighten up the nuts, and um, I'm going to put it back on the mower. I'll probably show a uh, abbreviated, uh, speeded up view of putting it back on the mower because it's the same thing as I showed you, just in reverse. Alright, got it all back together. Let's see what happens. It's going to take a minute to pull the fuel into the carburetor, so if it doesn't start right away, that's why. Runs like a champ. All right, guys, if you enjoyed this video, click on that thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. I come out with videos like this as often as I can. Thanks for watching.